Welcome back. We're here to uh, install the DJI FPV remote wrap. This is the sheet that you'll get in the mail. You're going to need some tweezers, a flat edge, credit card, debit card, a heat gun or hair dryer. We only want to use low heat. lint-free cloth or equivalent, and some isopropyl. So here we are cleaning our hands, making sure that we can uh, snap our fingers. You don't have to, but I like to just to make sure my fingers are not greasy or the remote. So we're going to start with this piece here, number one. The uh, final sheet is actually labeled. Here I'm putting the uh, left piece over the uh, dial. And I'm gently putting it on until I'm happy. And then once I'm happy, I'll uh, press it down with my finger. You won't really need heat for this part. I'm going to go with piece number two. You'll be doing the same thing as the uh, left side. Just lightly put it over, align it with the edges. Take your time. Once you have it, you can push it down or adjust it. And I'm happy with that. I also have an installation video for the DJI goggles. If you're looking to pair them up or if you came from that video, uh, this one's a lot simpler than uh, the last install. So this part here, you can use the antennas to seat or sit your uh, controller down. You can see right here, I'm gonna point Use that as a reference point of where you want to lay the sticker down and gently just uh, make sure it's going to go to the corners. Uh, once you're happy with the corners, it looks like it's going to be good. You can start pressing it down with your thumb. Sometimes when you put the sticker down, you'll see these uh, kind of little creases or it looks like it's going to fold over itself. You just lift it up a little bit. You can push the, the wrinkle out. You can see right here, it's kind of starting to wave. So that's where the heat comes in. And uh, by heating this up, we just relax the sticker. That's pretty much it for that corner there. On uh, this corner here, I ended up making a little mistake there. So this is something that could definitely happen to you. You can put a little bit of heat and um, with your non-sharp edge or even with your finger, you can push it down. And uh, you can see that there's no more wrinkle right there. That's it for piece number three. So we're going to pull out the pieces that we don't need. The um, indicator um, lights are been cut out. Uh, they're very good fit. And we're going to use this as a, an alignment
you notice that I, I don't put my logo on the actual remote because uh, I'm giving you the choice. If you like the product, you represent by putting a sticker on your remote if you'd like. If not, put it on your gear or put it on someone else's gear, tag someone's stuff, peel the um, sticker off. This is a large piece. It's a little intimidating, but it's actually quite easy. Align the, the middle where the lanyard goes, uh, the buttons and the uh, the tiny little buttons that, that indicator lights you can basically just use those to help you uh, align I'd start I'm starting here with the lights and you can see that they line up pretty well it's a very good fit and then just lightly put it on make sure that everything's gonna line up for you once you've figured out that the three spots there are lined up you can start basically working the sticker out. You'll see that it kind of wants to wrinkle a little bit in some of the corners, you just being gentle with it. And you're basically going from center and pushing all the way out slowly. Uh, if there's a part that kind of folds up on you, just lift it gently. But, um, Pretty, like, take your time with this. As you can see right there, it, it started kind of bunching up a little bit. So I'm just pulling on the edge just a tiny little bit. I'm not too, I'm not pulling too much out uh, to stretch the sticker because once you stretch the sticker, uh, things start to go wrong. So as you can see, I'm just lightly pulling and pushing the uh, sticker to go on. So the probably the hardest part about the sticker is the edges of the um, transmitter where your palms would basically go and uh, the heat will relax the sticker and you can uh, just basically push it down into the corners. You can use your non-sharp edge, for instance, a credit card or a debit card or anything that's um, not going to scratch your, um, your, your transmitter. should work just fine uh, right here I had a little bit of a dust particle and, and I was able to see it so all I had to do is basically move the sticker back just a little bit without pulling on it hard and I was able to remove the little piece of dust sometimes it happens uh, depending with if your area is not clean you might pick up a little bit of uh, dirt particles now as I stress right there I point at the heat gun we uh, use low heat you don't want to damage your transmitter. You don't want to burn yourself. Uh, watch when you put down your heat gun or your hair dryer. And as you can see, I'm just working the edge down. You may need your non-sharp your non -sharp edge to push this down. I, I just use my thumb. So as you can see, these corners here can be sometimes a little tricky or a little stubborn, uh, depending on your region where you live. Some places are hot, some places are cold. Uh, when it's cold, the sticker tends to be a little more stubborn, and that's why the heat comes in real nice. Also, another thing about the heat is that it activates the glue. So we're just checking the edges now, pushing down the final spots, making sure that uh, all the pieces are laying down properly, checking the corners, finalize it, feels good. Buy these at nxgraphics.ca. You can also match them up with your goggles if that's what you're looking for. And uh, yeah, come check us out. Thanks for watching.